Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you some dollar store makeup. Now I consider myself a bit of an expert when it comes to dollar store makeup because I am often at the dollar store with my kids. It's kind of how I bribe my kids is trips to the dollar store because they love going to the Dollar Tree. So while they are looking at toys and candy, I'm usually found browsing the makeup aisle. Now I found some really great products at the dollar store, but I've also found a lot of duds. So today we're going to be testing out some things that caught my eye when I was at my local Dollar Tree recently. So we're going to try those on today. I'm going to let you guys know what my thoughts are on these products and if they are worth the $3 that I spent on them. But before we begin, I need to give you guys a little disclaimer. I actually filmed this video several days ago and ended up somehow deleting my introductory footage. So please forgive me for my amateur mistake. I am a little bit new at this. But either way, I hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. Let me just show you guys what I picked up. I picked up three products from the brand Beauty Benefits. They had a little display there that reminded me a lot and the packaging reminds me, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it really reminds me of Benefit Cosmetics. Kind of just very cute, girly, almost vintage looking packaging. And even if you look at it, the font for the word Benefits on here, it's like the exact font of Benefit Cosmetics, which I think is so funny, but it, it worked. I mean, it totally caught my attention. <laughs> As with most things that I get at the Dollar Store or the Dollar Tree, I have pretty low expectations. But I do think that having low expectations is probably the best expectations you can have because there's nothing better than being surprised by something that you just weren't expecting to perform very well and also that costs a little. So you never know. We'll see how this goes. But let me just show you guys what I got specifically. So I got this bronzer in the color Cinnamon. It just looks like a very standard kind of medium tone brown bronzer. It does have some shimmer in it. Then I got this eyeshadow trio. They had a couple different options. This one I thought was the most everyday wearable, although I'm a little still uncertain about how I'm going to combine these three shades. So we've got a purple hair at the bottom, then kind of a mid-tone brown, and then this like, it's kind of a peachy, I thought maybe as a transition shade, but we'll have to see how it applies and how it swatches. And then I got this lip gloss. This is just in the color crepe. I'm assuming that's crepe. It's actually a pretty looking gloss. It's just a very nice neutral kind of peachy pink with a little bit of shimmer. So I did already apply my foundation, my concealer, I applied my eyebrows and also my eye primer and just a translucent powder just to set my eye primer. So we're gonna go right into the um, eyeshadow palette here. So let me just give these a little swatch and just kind of show them to you here on my finger. We'll see if, you, if these show up for the camera or not. You can see they're kind of just very they're a little bit powdery, but they're definitely not bad. Actually, that purple is kind of surprising me. Okay, so I'm going to try to use all three of these shades and see what I can come up with. So we're going to start by taking this peachy shade here on a fluffy blending brush. This is a Morphe M504. And we're going to just kind of put that in our crease. I'm surprised at the amount of color that put down. I thought it would be really, really sheer. It definitely has that kind of orange, like apricot kind of tone that, that I really am liking in transition shades lately. It seems to be in just about any palette that's coming out. The next thing I'm gonna grab is this purple shade. I'm gonna put this all over my lid and I'm gonna use this um, Wet n Wild it's just kind of like a small a flat brush. You really could use your finger. In fact, I may end up having to kind of go in with my finger just to really get that color to show up. Yeah, this is definitely very, very sheer. So I'm going to take my finger and apply that just to the main part of my lid. So I definitely have to kind of layer this on there. It's probably, despite the first swatch that I gave where I thought the purple would be the most pigmented, this is definitely struggling to build up. I think that's probably about as good as I'm going to get it. Then we're going to go in with the darkest shade in here, which is just kind of this medium tone brown, which is still not very dark. I usually like a little bit deeper of a shade in my crease, but we'll see how this goes on. I'm going to put that on with a just a small fluffy blending brush. This one is from Morphe, but it came in a kit, so it doesn't have a number on it. Okay, I feel like I can barely see this.
So I'm curious to know, what do you guys think about dollar store makeup? Are you guys interested in dollar store makeup too? Or is it something that you look at and you just think, waste of a dollar? Because I'll admit, I definitely have tried a few things there and most of them end up being a waste of a dollar. But occasionally I'll find something really good that I love using. So it definitely isn't terrible. I mean, I had to really work to build it up and layer it on, but yeah, not terrible. I'm going to take a liner brush and I'm actually going to take this kind of orangey shade and just buff that underneath the lash line. I'm going to take my Real Techniques shading brush and just really kind of blend that. So I'm actually going to wet my brush because I really don't want to do like standard eyeliner today. I just want to see what the shadow can really do for me for a dollar. So I'm going to kind of use that dark brown as kind of a liner. I think the real test will probably be how long this lasts because, again, I think oftentimes there's some dollar store makeup that I think is looks pretty good when you put it on, but it lasts like five minutes on your face. So the next thing that I grabbed came in this package, and this is the bronzer. I got it in the color cinnamon. They had a couple different shades, but I thought this one looked the most neutral. This is it in its little case. It's actually really cute packaging. It's just a very kind of light, light to medium shade of brown. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it. Let me see if I can swatch here. Okay, it has quite a bit of shimmer in it. There, that is pretty shimmery. These are the shadows and this is the bronzer. You can see it's got quite a bit of shimmer in it. I'm just gonna take this kind of paddle brush and just, oh, whoa, it's, a, it's got a lot of pigment. <laughs> okay, so you definitely wanna tap your brush off really good, which I don't usually, wow. Now I gotta try and blend that out. So on this side, let's try to line up just a little bit. So I'm definitely being very careful to brush off the excess. I always like to take my bronzer down my neck just so I don't know, I feel like it just makes everything like blend together and look seamless. Sometimes I don't know that it even really does much because I don't know how much is left on my brush, but it makes me feel like it's doing something, so I do it. <laughs> okay, so you can see here I still have kind of this stripe on this side where I just had applied way too much. So I'm just going to take a clean flat top kabuki brush and try and blend that out. Actually, I know what I'll do. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my Beauty Blender. This still has kind of my foundation that I put on not too long ago. And just kind of pat that in. I'm hoping that will kind of blend that out. So this definitely has some shimmer in it. I wouldn't say it's my favorite bronzer by any means, but it's pretty. And it was a dollar. I mean, that's you cannot beat that. I don't know of a bronzer at my Walmart that you could find for a dollar. So... Yeah, if you are looking for a bronzer and you have literally a dollar to spend, then check out the Dollar Tree. The last thing that I wanted to try on for you guys is this lip product. This is just the gloss that they had. Now, I'm trying to remember, I got this last week and I cannot remember if they had more than one shade. I do think that they had more than one shade. I just picked this one because it seemed the most everyday kind of wearable. This is in the color Crepe. So here's the lip gloss. I'm gonna swatch it for you right here on my hand. Okay, so I put it here on the top of my hand. It's kind of hard to swatch things there. <laughs> but it's pretty, it's, def it's kind of a, just a pinky peach. It's got a, quite a bit of gloss and shimmer to it. It smells, oh, the smell is familiar to me. It smells like cake. I mean, it just smells like cake batter, which is not a bad scent. If I'm going to have a scent in my lip gloss, I usually like it to be something sweet. Before I put that on, I'm gonna line my lips. This is the 
the NYX um, liner in beige, by the way, which I really love. If you're looking for a nude liner that will go with any nude lipstick, this is a really good one. Okay, so I went ahead and just popped some mascara on, and that is basically my look for today. I'm actually pretty impressed with some of these products. Let me give you guys kind of a rundown. Let's start with the eyeshadow. So, again, this eyeshadow is pretty impressive, and I was most impressed with this shade right here. I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but it applied a really good amount of um, kind of soft orange pigment. It was easy to blend as a transition shade. These two definitely needed to be built up a lot. I mean, it took layer after layer after layer to get them really to show up. But that's pretty typical, I think, from dollar store makeup. I think typically you don't find that they have a whole lot of pigment in them. You definitely have to work with them to get them to work for you. But that said, I mean, it's not terrible. I think the real test will be how this wears throughout the day, especially the bronzer and the eyeshadow. In my experience, a lot of products from the drugstore wear off a lot more quickly. So I will do a check-in in about six hours and let you guys know how it wore. The bronzer, I think, was actually really good for, again, for a dollar. I think you could not go wrong with this. I mean, there are a couple other bronzers out there that I know are really inexpensive. If you are on a serious, serious budget, like you have $5 to spend on makeup, and that's all you can spend, and that's all the makeup that you have, this is not a bad option. The only thing I will say is this definitely has a decent amount of shimmer in it, which I don't usually like too much shimmer in my bronzer, but, but the good thing about a bronzer that does have some shimmer in it is it also kind of doubles as a highlighter. It gives you a little bit of glow, especially if you apply it kind of above the hollow of your cheek. So the last thing is the lip gloss. It's actually really pretty. I mean, in person, I don't know how it's showing up on camera, but in person it is, seriously, I am way impressed with this lip gloss. And it kind of has a little bit of a watery feel. I don't know how I feel about that because I don't like sticky lip glosses and this definitely isn't sticky. Like I remember some of the makeup that I was like play makeup growing up, kind of sometimes their lip glosses would have that feel where they almost had like a watery texture. But that said, it definitely feels comfortable on the lips. It has a surprising amount of color to it. I mean, I know I have a lip liner underneath, which I think is definitely helping this, helping this out a little bit. But it's really pretty. It's got a really pretty kind of gold reflect to it. It's just a very neutral kind of, very flattering. I think I might actually use this again, which I was not expecting from some of these products. I thought it would just be kind of a fun, spend three bucks and try something on <laughs> and make a video about it. But I would actually use that lip gloss again. I definitely had fun trying out these products. Sometimes I think it's really fun to kind of put really inexpensive or cheap products to the test because you can sometimes make them work. If you really are on a budget and you like to play with makeup or experiment with makeup, the Dollar Tree is a great place to go because you can find some really fun things there. Good job, beauty benefits. I think that I am pretty impressed with all three of these products. I will let you guys know how it wears throughout the day and give you my thoughts then, but for the most part, I give this a thumbs up. I will say if this makeup was a little bit more expensive, I think I probably would be a little bit more critical of some of the, the flaws, which I did mention. But for the most part, for three bucks, I think that it's totally worth three dollars spent. And if this is all the makeup that I had to wear every day, I mean, I would miss my other makeup, but I could totally make it work. So I will do a check in here at the end, but that's all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this was interesting for you guys. I love testing out dollar store makeup. I think it's so fun to see what really cheap makeup can do because who doesn't love a good deal, right? So I hope that you guys have a fantastic day or evening and thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe or comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you guys think about dollar store makeup. I would love to hear and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. All right guys, it's time for a check-in. It is five o'clock in the afternoon. I put this makeup on at about 10 o'clock in the morning so it's been on for a good seven hours. Um, and it's actually held up pretty well. I am surprised I can still see, especially the eyeshadow. I took a nap this afternoon because I'm coming down with a cold. You might be able to hear. But it held up really well. And I even had, my eyes were even watery while I was, while I was laying down. And I can still see all of my eyeshadow is intact. My mascara, on the other hand, is kind of flaking off on the edges. The bronzer, I think you can still see 
some remnants of it, particularly on this cheek because I slept on this side. The lip gloss, on the other hand, did not last very long. Um, I think within an hour it was completely worn off my lips. However, I am going to give the lip gloss a pass because it is just so pretty. I mean, I thought the color and just the glossiness and shine from this was just beautiful. So this is definitely something I'm actually looking forward to using again. I think if I can get past that kind of watery texture that I was describing to you guys, I will really love this on top of a, a lot of different lip products that I have. So I definitely recommend these. I think um, just for the budget, you really can't beat dropping just a couple bucks on a makeup product. And these definitely performed pretty well. So yeah, I hope that that was helpful for you guys. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.